Your glasses are reflecting. Yeah. Should I take them off? No, no they're all right. just they're reflecting. They're reflecting? Okay. Mine well, aren't. Well, you get that special stuff on yours. I think it's just for your setting. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just me. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Hi. We're back. I'm Debbie. I'm Max. And this is Debbie and Max got thrifting. But we're not. We're not thrifting. No. I was doing some painting. You see, I painted this plate a little bit. Yeah, we're doing some touch-up on stuff. Um, no, we have plenty of stuff we don't need to thrift. We need to make some more videos, but I keep saying that, and it doesn't happen. They never happen. Yeah. Uh, but today we're doing the... The stay at the... The quarantined, stay-at-home, shelter-in-place... Place questionnaire? Questionnaire. Ten oh, questions. Challenge. Ten Ch challenge, challenge questions. questions. That's whatever. it. Yeah. Okay. We were challenged by the Idaho hillbillies. Hi, Kevin and Kitty. Hi. So, um, we have ten questions. Daisy wants to play. Yeah, Miss Daisy wants to play. Yeah, she does. She hears us talking. She thinks there's somebody. And she loves to get pets. Yeah. So, but I'm going to let you go first because if I say something, you always just say, oh, me too. So, I'm not going to let you do that today. What am I supposed to say? You, you answer the question Oh, first. the question. Well, you, do you know how many rolls of TP we have at the moment? I can guess. What would your guess be? No, I'm not I know. I, I always I know. know. Max, it's the... I order this stuff and he puts it up. We have a down in the basement. We have shelves. Yeah. We put all this on, and we got our right extra now, storage and all that. Right now, we got ninety rolls sitting down there. Ninety rolls of toilet paper. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the t ones you use, there's eighteen, and the ones I use, there's seventy-two. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of balance. Yeah, we use two different. I, ha yeah. I have a bathroom, and he has a bathroom, and never the two shall meet. Yeah. But uh, then uh, there's about another ten rolls up here between the two of us. Yeah. So There's a story. To There's a story which I will, and later in here I'll tell you about it. Okay. But uh, yes, I didn't know. So we have ninety rolls, but we we keep like we order our paper stuff, paper towels, napkins, uh, toilet paper. Uh, and like order it in bulk. Uh, yeah, online. big stuff like from Amazon because we don't want to mess with having to get it from the store and home and blah blah. Mm -hmm. And they just bring it and put it on your porch and it's there. So that's why. And we always. Even before the quarantine, we haven't ordered any since the quarantine. Well, not since the quarantine, no. Mm -mm. We no. had we had that much. This is, uh, yeah, we we keep a good stuff. We had, in fact uh, just before the quarantine, we had just restocked on everything. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's we, we somebody was looking out for us. Okay. Uh, what's the biggest change since the lockdown? Uh, you're home all the time. <laughs> you don't go anywhere. You don't play your bridge. Well, how does it affect you, though? No, it doesn't affect me, really. I mean, my, my schedule hasn't changed one bit. I'm always home. So, what about you? What's the biggest change since the lockdown? Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, not going out. I've been out mm, in, oh, we're in May now. Probably, what, nine weeks? Well, your last... Was, uh, so, you yeah, started, probably. you quit going to bridge the first week of March, so. Yeah, so probably like nine weeks, um, and I've probably been out, what, maybe five times? Yeah, about. To the grocery store, you know, at least like and, that. Until I told her to quit going out, because she comes back madder yeah. than she was when she left. Um, yeah, um, the biggest change, um, it's, it's not... I'm, I do not suffer fools gladly. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And it seems like um, I'm running into more of them when I go out. So I really literally have told Max, I, I don't want to go out anymore for, well, you no. Know. All the people that are being, that know that they should stay in are staying in. And then guess who's still out there? Yeah. Yeah, all the fools. So. I, you know, you just... And I, I like I say, hmm. And um, yeah, I, I'm. I do not deal with stupidity very well at all. Um, it it just and I, it seems like every time I leave the house, I run into the whole. You know, the, they're having their convention, and I'm there. 
So, yeah, biggest change, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, also then the streets are, there's a lot less traffic out there. Well, yeah. <laughs> Whoop de do, and the, yeah. the gas is nothing. Well, whoop de, yeah. we haven't we filled the cars what one time since it started. We haven't filled the car since it started. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I got there's to nothing I, once. Or maybe I, I think I filled the tank on your car. Yeah. 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 We low mm -hmm. gas prices. Yeah. All right. Um, what state or province we live in? We live in Virginia. Yeah, state so, of Virginia, and state of Virginia. Um, yeah. our. Governor originally issued a lockdown order through June tenth, uh, which we both uh, agree with. Yeah. Um, but he is feeling pressure, sure. yeah, and he's pressure. you know all the people are marching and honking and making signs, everything to let us open, let us open. Um, he is considering. Yeah, I really I hope he doesn't budge, but I think he's gonna have to because. People are just, you know, it's, I don't know. I'm not a nice human being when I told you I don't suffer fools gladly. Um, I'm at the point of do whatever you want to do. But, like, you know, that die they put in the packs when you steal bank money that won't come off regardless of what. I want everybody who goes out and they're not wearing masks and they're not, part, I want them to get stamps yeah. on their hands. Yeah. yeah. And then when they show up at the hospital and they're sick, they look at their hand and go, mm, sorry, go away. You didn't pay. you were one of the no. ones. No, no, see, no. See this big line here? No. You go to the end of it. I, I told and you. Once the line's all gone, because somebody else gets in line, they have to cut in front of you. I, and it's not so much for the idiots who want to do it. I could care less. But it's the people who, the ambulance drivers and the nurses yeah. and the doctors and the police and the fire people and all those people who don't have a choice. Uh, that's... Okay, I spent almost a week. I, I have people that work for me that have... The company I work for is considered a critical service for the states. So I spent a week getting PPP gear for all the techs in the field. And that's not easy thing to do. I mean, calling around trying well, to get this uh, stuff. Uh, tell, so I don't know what PPP gear is. Tell, uh, pre protective. Personal well, protective, protective gear. gear. The face masks, the uh, gloves, and the uh, hand sanitizer. And uh, surprisingly, the face mask was the easiest thing to get. Well, yeah, everybody and their uncle's making them. Yeah. Uh, so, all the uh, companies have converted over and they're making them. And, and, you know, yeah. They actually said on Etsy, which those aren't the, I don't think those are the certified. You they're know, not certified. Well, the whole idea is. But that's the number one thing. It keeps on you Etsy. from spreading out to other yeah, people. Yeah. And it's not necessarily protecting you. But if everybody were to wear them, then fine. But, and uh, we do wear them if we do go out. And my number one complaint is my glasses fog up. Yeah. And I've watched three videos on how to make your glasses not fog up, and it don't work. Well, no, they do work. <laughs> it's just like you have to be a nuclear physicist to understand the. I mean, it's just staple this Kleenex here, and then run these three rubber bands around this way, and then take some cardboard. And I'm like, huh? But anyway, I'm, I'm not kidding. Give me a sheet of paper and some super glue. I'll get you all fixed up. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm, my, my, my patient, I'm, I'm an impatient person. It's so funny. I, I really, I have the patience of Joe with other people. Normally, it's myself. I'm extremely impatient with, but it's kind of turning now. So anyway, um, oh, what's the next one? Uh, what have the... you gone with that lately? Yeah, what have you gone with? Well, I don't think we've gone. Well, no, I don't have gone without anything yet. No, yeah. everything we wanted. Um, um, well, here, well, here we in Virginia, we have a supply of everything. Well, I'm already, saying so. here in Virginia, we haven't seen any paper products since day one. I no. mean, we, we just have like if we've gone to the grocery store for something else, we always just kind of make it a point to look at that aisle and see if there's anything just to be curious. Nothing. Yeah. No Kleenex. No toilet paper. No paper towels. No baby. Nothing. 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 I mean, not all even papers gone. Yeah, all papers gone. We should have gone in the school aisle, see if any <laughs> sheets <laughs> regular paper. Um, what else was gone the one time we went? Oh, uh, the uh, 
Oh, Bre- uh, Brad but, one time yeah, was really low. Yeah, Brad was really low. But that's come but back. That's been that fine. Back. But there was that other aisle. Um, uh, was it eggs one time? No. Oh, no. The, the cheese. All the oh. cheese was gone. Yeah, cheese. We it's strange. There. It's like a diff- every week you, it's something different. You're like, eh. But no, we, we're doing great. I mean, we've got, like I said, we... We're, well, we we in, grew up with parents who lived in the Depression, and yeah. we also lived in a state that had hurricanes, and we just, it's we can't get, you, yeah, you we just, can't just, get that out of our system, yeah. so we always have a lot of supplies, anyway. Um, what are you most grateful oh, for? Well, having her with me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been giving him some of my drugs. Grateful for. I'm grateful for what just what we said that we are not doing without. Yeah. Uh, and, and we planned ahead. For well, no not even what, that. Really. But at the, this age, uh, well, Max still works full time, and Max is still working, so yeah. he's still getting good. his check. Um, so we're very grateful that we will realize there are a lot of people out there who are not working and are hurting real bad for uh, money. So we're lucky that way, and of course, um, I sell on eBay. So, eh, I mean, it's it's trickling in, uh, and then I also get Social Security. Um, so yeah, our money has not been affected. Um, so we've been very, very, and I know, like I say, a lot of people there. I don't know the, you know, the people who are standing in food lines and. Um, people who just don't have a job anymore and you know those people i'm glad that uh, yeah i'm grateful that we're we're at in our lives and and don't have to worry about uh paying the mortgage or you know we got a roof over our head and foods foods well we do have foods uh, you know we have what we need yeah so i'm happy for that yep uh what do you miss the most my grandsons yeah Miss, miss seeing the grandchildren. I have not seen my grandson since February. Yeah. Um, and it is killing me. Um, love those little diggies. And nothing like them climbing up in your lap with a book and, yeah, no, you know, no. read so or neat. build something to come show you or color something or whatever. And Yeah. yeah it's, just, it's just so great when we go over there and they look, they see us and they get that bright look in their mm-hmm. eyes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, pop, pop, and they come running over. Yeah, I mean, there's, they're, and they're like, they have glass, like, you know, doors, storm doors, and they're like up against it, like that weight, and then when they see us, they get so excited, so. Yeah. Um, get pictures every day. My son sends pictures every day, and uh, once a week, we FaceTime, and um, just, oh, uh, I, I, I miss them so much. They are just, can't even tell you. Yeah, I know we uh, we're gonna have to plan something when this is all over and we can yeah. all get back. Uh, th- this one I, I love. How <laughs> long has it been since you've been at a campsite? Well, let me see now. Uh, I gotta think a minute. Uh, I was uh, 1990. Get my chapstick in there. Uh, three, I think. In the fall of 1993. Is it? Oh. Chapstick? I thought I took it out of here. No, no, there it is right there. Oh, there. Sorry. Oh, I see it now. There Can't live without my chapstick. Yeah, I think it was the fall of 1993. I was stationed, uh, still in the military, and uh, we were going out on operations down in, uh, what's that camp? I can't, the fort, it's a, one of those army forts in southern Wisconsin. We went out on operation, and well, that's the last time I was camping. Uh, last time I camped was 50 years ago. And my mother forced me to go to vacation Bible school camp every summer. Oh dear. I hated it then. I hate it now. I was, I still am. People will go, no, you're not. But I, I'm very, very shy uh, if you put me in a crowd full of people I don't know. And I would just like kind of get over in the corner and try to hide behind something. You know, I'm not, I, I wasn't a social butterfly and... I'm allergic to everything green and growing. Uh, mosquitoes think I'm prime rib. I mean, it's just, I was miserable. We can go outside in the evening, and she's out there going, you know, with the mosquitoes, and I'm like, what's the matter? And then 
<laughs> we, we literally walked to the mailbox together. Was it yesterday? Yes. No, day before yesterday, we walked to the mailbox together. And yeah. I started sneezing before we even got there. Yeah. By the time I got back, I was nonstop sneezing. So, yeah, I do not like to camp. I never have liked to camp. I'm not even sure I'd like to glamp. Uh, but who knows? I guess, you know, if things come down to it, you'll do what you have to do, but... Not one of my favorite things. Oh. Yeah. What's your favorite quarantine food? Double doozies? No. Oh, you <laughs> like yours. I saw mine. What's yours? Uh, no, I, I like those. But uh, I don't know what a double doozy is. Probably tell them. Yeah, well, you'd be able to tell them better than I could. It's, it's a. It's two chocolate chip cookies, and like they're stuffed much? with uh, like buttercream. Icing, icing or something? Yeah, icing, oh, okay. frosting. Where, Between them. And like a, a sandwich cookie. Uh, yeah. We, mm -hmm. we cut them in fourths because they're so rich. You yeah. can't... Well, I can't eat that much because of my uh, gastric bypass. But yeah, we cut them in fourths and uh, eat one. It's not like that's a quarantine food, though, because it's... You know, we really haven't changed that much of what we eat. So. Well, my favorite quarantine food... No, the one that gives you the most comfort. Oh. Mine is... Well, then... Oh, okay, go ahead. Krispy Kreme, oh, chocolate-covered, yeah. cream-filled donuts. That has been my favorite since I was a child. My father and I used to go to town every Saturday and pay bills. My dad did not have a bank account. He went and paid cash for the utilities and the phone. The, we didn't have the phone, the, the bills and stuff. Um, but there was a Krispy Kreme on the corner, and he always went in there, and that's what I got was a chocolate covered cream filled Krispy Kreme donut. So that's since I was, you know, like I say, I was five, six on up till I got too old to be seen with my father in public, you know, that age. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that. Oh. My favorite comfort food? That would have been pepperoni pizza. Oh, yeah. 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 You agree, don't you? <laughs> yeah. He would eat pepperoni pizza every day of the every week. Every day of the week, if I could. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm. Um, I, I like maybe once a month, once every six weeks, but no, no. Love me pepperoni pizza. How are you exercising and doing your workouts? Same as we did before. Exactly the same as we did before, and not at all. Not a lot. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> or not at all. He, well, he does work. Well, he, he's I at least out. doing. He's doing yard work. Yeah, I'm doing yard work. No, I don't want to die, so I stay in the house. Uh, no, I do not exercise and I do not work out. And. My doctor gets on to me every year, and I go, okay. And he goes, well, I had to tell you. Like, okay. And even leave, we got this new bird seed from Amazon. Yeah, and they, we're they, looking out our, our window. Right and, now, and, I, and, I, and it's just We have bad. had birds. I mean, we always had birds, but this stuff is like crack cocaine. I mean, yeah. they are just, we're seeing birds we've never seen. And it's said especially for songbirds, and we're seeing birds we've never seen before. Uh, and they're like coming six right at a time to the feeder and fights are breaking out. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. And we haven't had, we've got a squirrel proof feeder and it really is. I know people go, eh, but this one really is. And we haven't had squirrels in what, three years or so? Three or four years. Has been since and yesterday there was a squirrel, squirrel up here trying to get into it. I told Max, as the birds have told him, like we've got new seed and <laughs> yeah. he's trying to get, they can't get it in this particular yeah. feeder. Yeah, Super good feeder, and it has a lifetime warranty. If the squirrels get in it, or if it breaks or anything happens to it, we send it back to the company. This is our second one? Yep. The first one wore out because of the squirrels trying to work on it. They kind of wore out the, the, the perch thing that's on it. And so I sent a note to the company that we got it from, and they just sent us another one. It's lifetime. No my, charge. My son has... No charge. My son has I, one I got the two. old one sitting in the garage. Yeah, my son has one or two also, and he loves them. Um, but anyway, oh, oh, and uh, 10. What was or will be your pandemic panic purchase? We didn't panic, so well, and I kind of, um, I'm trying to buy things, and I don't know, I guess all um, sellers kind of do this. I can't go out and look anywhere now for things. So I'm trying to find stuff on eBay, like uh, summer geared stuff. Not, I, I'm thinking like for my antique booth, um, you know, summery things. 
And then we've got fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I'm trying to go on eBay and look for those things. So when and if the antique mall ever opens up again, I will be able to go in and set my booth up, you know, like for that season, whatever it is. Because right now it's sitting there for Easter, pretty she please. Everything in is Easter. So that's going to have to all come out. So I have been spending i've been buying stuff off of uh, ebay and actually i got one wholesale i've got a new wholesaler uh we're going to try and see how that works um uh, bought some stuff for them uh and i'm going to try to sell that on ebay and also uh we'll see how it sells first on ebay and if it does well in there then it's well stay i mean there, but it can go in the booth go too in the booth also yeah um uh, but yeah i don't once again it's like we don't give each other gifts we don't give birthday gifts christmas gifts anniversary gifts we don't we just, like, today he said he, he wanted to buy a new video camera, and he, you know, he said, I'm going to buy a new camera. What do you think? And I'm like, mm, if you want a new camera, buy a new camera. So it's kind of like... It's ordered to be here next Wednesday. Yeah. And it's like, I, uh, you know, jewelry is my weakness. And uh, I have ordered a few pieces to go in the booth that weren't going to make it to the booth. They're not going to make it. Well, I even looked at I mean, they're coming in, and I'm looking at them going... Yeah, here you go. Put this with your other jewelry. <laughs> I can already tell. Well, it's not no, I mean, I, I have. I'm, I'm, I'm doing better. I went and I, I laid out all my... These were red, white, and blue pens. And I laid all mine out. And I told him, I said, I, you know... Well, that's... Something like that. This is one that's been here for a while. Yeah, that's going to the booth. Booth. Uh, but I said, you know, which of these do you like? And it was funny. I already had two in my head that I wanted to keep. And he picked the exact two out that I wanted to keep. And the rest of them I'll sell. You know, I'm not ridiculous. I mean, you know, but um, she's 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 learning me how to look at jewelry. No, I mean it's just <laughs> you know, and, and I I do I I kind of turn it over. I wear it for a while or whatever, and then I either get tired of it or I get something I like better, and I don't keep it all. You know, I turn it over. Um, but okay, now it says you have to challenge. Who are you challenging next? Yeah, five, five other YouTube channels to answer the same ten questions. Yep. Uh, first, we're going to choose Diesel Creek. If you've never heard of him, which you probably may not have if you're a thrifter or whatever, because he's... Uh, Max he's, loves I, his. I like his channel. He's yeah. like a heavy equipment operator, and he's remodeling an old uh, church. He's turning it into apartments, and... He's always working on some piece of equipment. You know, he he, I mean, it's, it's, he gets his equipment like for two hundred dollars. That's worth like ten thousand dollars, and he hauls it home and he gets it working. So he, he's a he works in construction. Well, not he's a heavy uh, equipment. Heavy, right? heavy equipment, like I said, and so he's always running across stuff. <laughs> yeah, and he has a, a house. He has a house that he and his wife live in, and then he has a farm father out, and he goes, you know, and takes you along on the farm and the stuff he's doing out there and then he takes you to this church and shows you uh you know him remodeling the church and stuff it's it's interesting i mean i if it was just me i probably wouldn't watch it but max really enjoys it so and he's a nice guy yeah so we're gonna choose and the next one will be paper and moose uh she's one of my favorites i love she sells at flea markets she does some selling on uh ebay etsy but her specialty is ephemera. I can't believe I got that word. Uh, <laughs> she loves old paper, paper and yeah. she does, she finds like, if she finds enough about a person, like pictures and uh, scrapbooks and things like that, she actually will do a history on her channel of that person or that time period or that building or whatever it is. And it's, it's fascinating. If you like history and documentaries and that kind of thing, she's a great person to watch. And she also, um has an unbelievable knowledge she likes vintage clothes and vintage toys so she's a lot of fun to watch um the other one is real nifty vintage which I, a lot of you i'm sure know that's jeffrey yeah and uh he's a hoot yeah he's he's hysterical i mean we, we love to watch him and he again a lot of knowledge learn a lot from him love uh barb and um my mind just blanking his his for, uh, I can't think of it. Anyway, enjoy him. Just watched a couple of his today. Um, and I love the dog too. 
can't I think of anything. He's got a little cute little dog, too. Scrappy? No. Slumpy? No. Something like that. Scott, no. I don't know what it is. I'm horrible with names. I'm better off not being out in public. I can't remember anybody's name. Next one is Sue Me. I love Sue Me. Um, you may have seen her originally on The Crazy Lamp Lady. And she has her own channel. She's had it for about a year now. And she does a uh, YouTube daily. And I, she's keeping me sane. She is like, um, she's hysterical. Tell, tell she, it like it is. Yeah, she tells it like it is. Like she's just funny. I mean, and yeah. she'll, she teaches you things too. But like the other day, she wore a tin full hat. You know, talking about the conspiracies of all the people about the virus and what they think it is and all this or whatever. And she's just a, a sweet, knowledgeable, um, kind soul who um, I, she I don't think she has any idea how many people she reaches and and is keeping them sane during this time. And the other one is Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. Uh, if you haven't watched him, I I, I like YouTube where I learn things. And um, Scott uh, has taught me so much, and he's a hoot too. He, um, some of his videos are just fabulous. Um, he's right now, uh, I'm kind of behind on him, so I don't know. He was at the point where he'd run out of things to uh, list, so he was taking us all around Philadelphia where he lives and telling us the history of the city. And um, But he almost, it's like, you're there with him. He's back in that time period and when you're in his apartment. And you literally feel like you're back in the, you know, 30s or 40s uh, with him and his furnishings at his house. And um, it, it, he's just wonderful, uh, very knowledgeable. Um, can't, you know, you can't help but learn something from watching his videos. So those are five will challenge. I will have to drop them a note and tell them to challenge them because I know none of them watch us. Was, you know. Yeah, we got we, a huge following. We don't care. All, all I mean, people that... we know <laughs> that we would have to do a video daily to build up a big following. Yeah. And at this time, it's just not possible for us with Max working so much. Um, maybe someday, uh, you know, and maybe someday even I will figure out how to do it and I can do some of the work and that would help. But um, anyway, this was just a little quick... Hi, we're Hi. here. We're still here. We're, here. we're still trucking along. Oh, yeah, and I don't know if y'all heard it, but we heard yesterday that um, Wendy's was out of hamburger, and they were not serving hamburgers in some places, so, of course, I had Max run out today for yeah, lunch. I said, go see if Wendy's has got a hamburger. Oh, uh, Wendy's does the fresh meat. They don't do frozen. So. Yeah, so our Wendy's here had a hamburger today. Max went and got me one, and it's, it's funny. Um, I... I can't eat. I have to be careful. I eat things, so I take the bread part of the hamburger off, and I can I can eat the meat patty and about three French fries, and that's about it. But um, yeah, I, I love the hamburger. Um, but uh, did we get them all? Yeah, that was it. Were you gonna expand on any of it? I think we did. How long have we been on? Half hour. Oh, that's about our usual thing. Yeah, it took everybody else like five minutes, and we're like rattling. You know us. We well, we see it. And we go, hey, you know that kind of reminds me of. <laughs> well, yeah, I could do a whole thing on the toilet paper, but don't get yeah. me started. Um, but anyway, hopefully we'll be back soon with a interesting video. Yeah, we do interesting stuff. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Um, but hope everybody's doing well. If you watch this, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, Don't remember to, what is it, like, like, subscribe, and share. Yeah. That's, we, we don't expect. Yeah, I know. We don't. We're not interesting. Um, maybe someday we will be. Ooh. Yeah. you got to stop working so much. Oh, well. Uh, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> Never get so busy making a living. That you forget to make a life. So, even though you're quarantined and without meat and bread and eggs and cheese and all that, you could still get some spam. Get some spam? Spam. I got max one can of spam. Yeah. Well, that's all the store had. Yeah, that's all they had. 
She'd have gotten more. If you need something, let us know. We'll ship it to you. A friend of mine in Louisiana said they can't get butter down there. So we're going to ship her a couple of things of butter. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you want to see a lot of birds around the house. Should I, we should get the name of that seed you got. That oh, stuff that's like cracked to the birds. It's really expensive, I'll tell you that. <laughs> we, we normally get it from the hardware store close to here. But of course, with all this going on, we couldn't. So we ordered it off Amazon. And we both... It was, Really expensive, but I have to say they love, it. they love it. If you want the name of it, you know, ask Just us ask, and we'll put we'll it down. Put it and other things, but I mean, a lot of people, it's you know, yeah. they don't. We're the only people around here that feed the birds, so yeah. that's why they love us so much. Well, we one haven't I seen before. Oh, with woodpecker or cardinal fighting. Yeah, but there's no red on it. That woodpecker. Oh, oh well. Weird one. So uh, we will see y'all next time, and take care. Bye.